Hey guys, welcome to this week's Java with Jason, your weekly real estate and mortgage update. This week's topic, it's a biggie. It's what's up with my square footage of my house when I do an appraisal, okay? So many times, this has happened to me personally, many times when you purchase a house, you get the house, uh, get an appraisal on a house and you get it measured. That measurement can differ from what you see listed on MLS, okay? So what's going on there? So first of all, realtors, when they list a property, okay, they're going off data that they've received. It's usually received from the seller. So the square footage can be listed on MLS per the seller, okay? It could also be per the appraisal district. And thirdly, it can be per the builder, okay? So those are all three sources that the realtor's getting this data from a certain individual, if you will. To make matters a little bit more complicated, uh, I called one of my appraisers and, appraisers and said, hey, what's up with the measurements and how does this work? He says to make matters a little bit more complicated is about 10 years ago, 10 to 15 years ago, that they have different um, criteria and standards of how appraisers measure houses. Used to back in the day, they would round the walls up to the nearest square foot. So that could cause a pretty big variation between a measurement when in today's time it's 0.1. They, 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 uh, they round it up to 0.1 of the square footage, okay, instead of a whole foot. There are instances when there's old appraisal data out there when they used to measure it by rounding up to the foot versus today's criteria that can be off 200 square foot on a 400, uh, 4,000 square foot house, okay? Here's the good news. The good news is this. When the appraiser appraises the house, they're gonna measure it, it's gonna be accurate, and they're gonna compare it off other houses in the area and their square footage as well too. So they take this all into account. And at the end of the day, it's not only just the square footage that counts in the value of the house. It's what sort of kitchen's in there, what sort of bathroom's in there, what sort of amenities, a pool, the square footage of the house. Um, it's even down the school district. So there's a ton of criteria that come up with the value. Square footage is just a little piece of the pie. You and I probably wouldn't know the difference between 100 square foot or 200 square foot. The bottom line is, is once they make all their adjustments, is it within that range of the value? So if you have any questions on this, please give us a call. Uh, it could be very confusing when you look at these measurements, but there is a little bit of variation and we'll work through it. My number is 281-882-8888.